In this tutorial, I'd like to show you the initial setup for EasyDCP Creator and EasyDCP Creator Plus. After I installed the commercial version of EasyDCP Creator and after I received a license, I stored the license on my desktop. Then I launch the EasyDCP Creator or EasyDCP Creator Plus and browse to menu entry Licensing, Import License. This opens a file dialog and I browse again to the license on my desktop. The dialog shows me that the license was successfully imported, but I have to restart the application. So I'm going to relaunch the application. And now I browse to menu entry, licensing, get license information to get more details about the license I activated. That's all we have to do for EasyDCP Creator. If you're using EasyDCP Creator Plus, let's go to step number two and request the signer certificates. First, I browse to menu entry options, signature setup. In this dialog, we just browse to the button Request Signer Certificate Set. And in the next dialog, we have to provide several information, including your name, your company's URL. Then you have to provide a password. Make sure that you remember this password later. We need it during the import procedure. Then click the Encrypt button in order to generate the encrypted request. The support needs this request in order to generate your signer certificates. So you can just click the Send button and this will open your mail client with a new mail. Just send it to our support and wait for the reply, including your certificate set. Once you receive this reply, we can go to the next step. So we activate our signer certificates, again go to menu entry options, signature setup, and now go to import signer certificate set. This raises a file dialog and I store my signer certificates on the desktop and I just click this folder and then I click the choose button. And the tool asks me for the password so just type the password you used during the request. You can save this password for convenience and then click the OK button. And now you are all set. The EasyDCP Creator Plus ingested all the certificates. Click the OK button and go to the next step. We will now request our decryption certificates. The process is very similar to the signature. Request, go to Options, Content Decryption and Request Server Certificate Set. Again, type your information, including your name, the company, URL and a password. Again, make sure that you will remember this password. Click the Encrypt button and for convenience, you can just click the Send Request button to open your mail client with a new mail and send this email to the EasyDCP support and you have to wait for the reply from our support including your server certificate set. We're gonna activate the decryption certificates, go to menu entry options, content decryption and import server certificate set. This raises a file dialog. Go to the location where you stored the certificate set, type your password if you want to click the checkbox for convenience and press the OK button and you're all set. If somebody requests your server certificate from you, just go to menu entry options, content decryption, export public server certificate. Just select a folder. and store the certificate in the new folder. And as you can see, 
the certificate, including the certificate chain, will be stored in that folder. So you can send this information to the party who requested it. Now you're all set. That's the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please send us an email.